Howdy folks, it's Tom here from the gaming channel. Wait, what am I sitting on here? Okay. Minimize that. Better. Okay. Howdy folks, it's Tom here from the gaming channel, and welcome to channel chat vlog number four. As you guys may know, last week we had the Electronic Entertainment Expo E3 for 2016, also known as Christmas for Gamers. Um, a lot of new trailers dropped, a lot of trailers for games that had already been announced, a lot of really new games that are coming out in both this year and early 2017. So this video, I'm going to show you guys my five most anticipated games that received trailers for E3. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right over to the computer and we'll go through those trailers and I'll yammer on through the whole process. Five. So here we have in the number five slot, we have Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, I was a big fan of Ghost Recon Future Soldier. It was a really enjoyable game, very interesting. Um, I've always been a fan of the military shooters. Um, I really I like the concept of this one being a little bit different. It's not your typical, policy. we're against Russia, we're against North Korea, which I do like those games too, if but this one is a little bit different. It's more give you shelter. realistic, I Medicine. guess, technically, because it's a war Jones. on drugs kind of thing. But from the, tyrants. the really awesome thing is that the concept is it's it's open world. So essentially you and your team get dropped into Central America, South America, South America, I believe. And you can complete the missions in any way you like, in any order you like. And it's just really, really cool, really tactical. Of course, being Ghost Recon, you get like future tech of drones and weapons and things like that. So this is one I am looking forward to. There are others I'm looking forward to a little more, but this one's definitely on the list. So I'm going to stop yammering now and let you guys go ahead and finish watching the rest of the trailer. In front of your eyes. Summer soldiers, we are ghosts. Four. Why did we choose this life? Okay, guys, here in the number four slot, we have South Park, The Fractured Butthole. I am a fan of South Park, the show. I have been for years, um, and without a doubt, South Park, The Stick of Truth is like the best media tie-in game in my opinion, ever made. It's so just, it's made for the fans. People who watch this show really enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the game. It was fantastic. Well written, obviously, by the guy, by uh, the guys who made South Park. And I have no doubt that the fractured butthole will be exactly the same. Um... And again, just, yeah, it's South Park. What's it's You, you know what you're getting into. It's going to be crude. It's going to be hilarious. But, again, I'm just really looking forward to it. So I'm going to shut up now and go ahead and let you guys finish watching the trailer. How did it get to this? How did we grow so far apart? 
You go with the plan. Maybe we'll just go and do our own franchise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want Civil War? Is that what you want? Yeah, dude. Civil War. F you. Oh, f you. Get out of my house. We'll make way more money on our franchise. Go ahead. I bet you don't even get halfway through phase one on your franchise, DC Comics. I thought Civil War wasn't supposed to happen until phase three. Shut up, Super Craig. I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Did I just hear someone use a microaggression? Three. Here in the number three slot, guys, we have Dishonored 2. You guys probably know that the very first playthrough I ever did on the channel was the original Dishonored. I do have every intention of finishing Dishonored, probably soon before this one comes out in November. Um, I'm a big fan of the Dishonored world, the setting, the feel of it is just really engrossing and it just seems it's kind of got that kind of grungy gross kind of a feeling and when you're playing it you really like feel like kind of I, kind of like you need a shower honestly <laughs> but um the big news in this one is that you get to play as either the lord protector corvo or the empress emily um, now we saw in the trailer there, Emily dead. So since you get to choose to play one or the other, I kind of have to assume that one of the first things that happens in the story is that one of them dies. But I could be wrong. Don't know. Um, the other thing I find very interesting is they, the developers have said that you can play through the entire game without using your magic. So you can go straight stealth or you can use magic to help you out. Either way, the magic looks awesome, as you guys can see right now. I just, anyway, I'm really looking forward to the game, so I'm gonna shut up now, because there's only a little bit of the trailer left. Here in the number two slot, guys, we have Watch Dogs 2. For a couple of sequels, several sequels on this list, but I'm really excited for this one. I I am a fan of the original Watch Dogs. I do felt that Ubisoft could have done more with the first Watch Dogs, especially story-wise. I don't want to spoil anything, because I do have intentions of playing Watch Dogs on the channel. Again, probably before this one comes out. But it's nice to see that they've changed up the setting. We're now in San Francisco. Um, we're supposed to get access to more hacks. It's been said that everything is hackable. Um, we get access to cool tools, uh, drones, and things like that. And apparently you get to 3D print a gun, which is like everyone who knows nothing about 3D printing's worst nightmare. But... Uh, you, we're playing a whole new protagonist in a whole new city. We're actually members of DeadSec this time. Um, again, I don't want to spoil anything, but for those of you who didn't know, Aiden Pierce from the first game was not actually a member of DeadSec. He just had access to their their hacks. So it's really nice to get a little more into the hacktivist side of things. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys finish the trailer. You 
like you. One. Open your eyes. All right, guys, and here in the number one slot, we have my most anticipated game that received the trailer in at E3, which is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This one surprised me. I didn't, for whatever reason, I did not expect to see a Zelda trailer, let alone one that is this gorgeous. Um, if you guys actually watched E3, uh, you'll have seen they, they did a lot of actual gameplay footage. They did like two and a half hours of various individuals from Nintendo going through and actually playing in uh, the main section that you see here, which apparently is a very small portion of the map. Um, it's, I just, I've been a Zelda fan since the beginning. Ocarina of Time is one of my all-time favorite games, and I'm really glad to see that we're finally getting a Zelda game on the Wii U. Typically, I kind of let the boys play the Nintendo games, but when this one comes out, this one's all mine. I'm going to be playing this one on the channel for you guys, and I am really, really looking forward to it. So, I am going to shut up and let you guys watch the rest of this gorgeous trailer in peace. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those trailers. I know those are five games that I am really looking forward to. Cannot wait for them to come out. And you can pretty much expect to see them all on the channel at some point or another. So, if you guys like this video, smack that like button. Leave us a comment down below. I'm also going to leave links to all of those trailers in full in the video description below so you guys can go watch them without having to listen to me yap on about what my opinions are. <laughs> um, but if you guys like listening to me yap, then there you go. Um, either way, leave me a comment down below. Tell us what games you guys are looking forward to from E3. You'll notice there wasn't any PS4 trailers in here, which is sad because I don't own a PS4. I, but after E3, I kind of wish I do. Um, a lot of really good games for the PS4. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't own one, so none of those trailers were in here. So before you guys start, you know, crucifying me in the comments about all the PS4 goodness that I missed, that's the reason why. So as I said, leave us some comments, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. Um, yeah, and that's going to be it for this video. So until next time, we'll see y'all later.